In this video, we'll look at setting up some of AOG's most important settings relating to the IMU and the wheel angle sensors. Open the Auto Steer Configuration panel with the button on the left. This is the most important page in all of AOG. The first thing we can see is that AOG thinks we are turning right. The green bar indicates right, and the wheels on screen and in the webcam are the same, but the tractor steered in completely the wrong direction. And as that's important, we'll fix that just now. Hit the blue arrow to expand the panel. The main settings you're likely to change on this screen are invert was. If your tractor has green bar and wheels on screen pointing left, but the tractor wheels are really pointing in the opposite direction, then press invert WAS and then press send and save. If your WAS is correct, but when you engage auto steer, the tractor goes in the opposite direction, then choose invert motor direction, and press send and save. On this tractor, the steering is engaged via CAN bus button, so we set steer enable to none. The typical engage is via a physical hardware button you wired to your board, so you would select button for that. The IMU axis is a critical setting. Look at the IMU on your board before you permanently fix the board to your tractor and notice there are X and Y arrows on it. The XY chosen here must point in the forward direction of travel. If you are traveling forward in the opposite direction to the arrow, then you will need to select to invert roll on the following screen. While you are here, find a flat surface and click zero roll. This will compensate for the board being mounted off level. The IMU orientation and direction are critical settings, if they are incorrect, it will never steer properly. Here, we're on a level surface, but the PCB isn't quite level in the tractor. So we'll zero the IMU. And returning to the main configuration page, let's set CPD in Ackerman. First, turn the tractor steering to full right lock. Note the act figure at the bottom of the panel. When we change CPD, the actual figure will change. You will need to turn the steering a little to get it to reread the figure. As a ballpark figure, you can aim to set CPD so that full lock reads around 35 degrees. Here, I used a compass app to get a rough idea of maximum lock on this tractor. And it was similar. Of course, every machine is different. If you set CPD too low, the tractor will be unable to set small adjustments as it will in effect be sending too much angle. On the other side, if you set it too high, it can have the effect of slowing the steering down a little, and this might be beneficial in some cases. Now, we'll set the Ackerman figure, and we do this at full left lock. Then, we tweak Ackerman until it reads the same actual figure as full right lock. If your tractor is CAN bus, it should be set to 100 and left alone as the controller itself handles the correction. However, it's not uncommon for them to need a little adjustment, so check it anyway. 33.5 is close enough to 33.3 so we are good. As a reminder, at the moment, we are not interested in the set or air figures at the bottom. Next, we'll fine-tune the wheel angle sensor offset. Expand the config panel with the blue arrow and press the red tractor to engage drive mode. In drive, the current track is ignored and the machine goes where you tell it with the left-right art rows. Ensure set reads zero and press the zero button if not. Now, watch where the tractor is heading in the distance. Pay close attention to the tree just above the hood. We are clearly drifting left here. So we move the with zero gently to the left to cancel that out. If the tractor is drifting right, Tap the slider to the right. You can make smaller adjustments tapping the little arrows on the slider. This looks pretty good now. Notice what happens if we go too far with the offset. The machine thinks it is steering straight ahead, but clearly it is not. If you cannot get your WAS zero set with less than 10, try and realign your WAS on the machine so it reads straight ahead more accurately. Don't forget to turn the green tractor off when finished. So, to review, first of all, Set your vehicle on a level surface before you head to the field, and take note of the direction the IMU is mounted. If when traveling forward, the arrow points in position 1, then set X. If traveling forward in direction 2, then set Y. If 3, then set X and invert roll. If 4, set Y and invert roll. Also, 
Take note that this setting is per machine you save so if you ever move your IMU, you will need to update all your configurations. Next, you need to ensure that when you steer left, the green bar turns to the left. See earlier in the video on how to change if it is incorrect. You will then set your CPD, your Ackerman, your max steer angle and finally tune your wheel angle zero figure. With these settings correct, you are well on your way to setting your machine up. Finally, having set the wheel angle offset, check your CPD in Ackerman once again. A major offset will affect them, so make sure they are still good. Lastly, it never hurts to check your offset with the drive or green tractor mode once in a while, just in case your sensor has moved. In the next video, we'll look at PWM. And that's the end of this video, if you found it useful, please leave a like and consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next one.